Hi, welcome back to this LTSPAS tutorial. In this video, we are going to make full bridge rectifier using MOSFETs, otherwise known as MOS transistors. We are not going to use any diodes in the entire circuits. Let's open up the LTSPAS and go ahead. I have already made the circuit with all the values given. This is the very simple form of bridge rectifier using MOSFETs or transistors. And the topology is very similar to the diodes, except that we have to supply the gate voltages uh, like VG1 and VG2. You can choose any power MOSFET from the LTSPICE library, but I have chosen this IRF7455, which is from International Rectifier. You can right click on this and say, pick new MOSFET and choose any one of these. This is, these are from different manufacturers. You can choose any one of them. The input is given across this V in plus and V in minus terminals. And similarly, the output is taken from this V out and this ground terminal. We have supplied two gate voltages, VG1 and VG2. VG1 is driving two MOSFETs, M1 and M4. And VG2 is driving the gates of M2 and M3. The reason being we want the current to be in this direction from this positive V out terminal to the ground. Let's understand how this circuit works. I cannot name this as V in plus and V in minus because uh, this is an AC signal and the plus and minus switches, but I have named it for telling you how the circuit works, right? In the positive half cycle, this, the current flows like this, this becomes positive terminal and this becomes negative terminal and uh, the current flows through M1 because the M1 will be on in the positive half cycle. We are making M1 and M4 on. You can check that by clicking on VG1 and it, it goes from zero to five and no delay. And these are the values that I have given. I'll keep this project of LTSPICE, all the files of LTSPICE in the description. You can download them and use them, okay? And VG2, you can see them, the V initial itself is five and V on is zero. So this becomes active in the negative half cycle of the input, okay? So M1 and M4 are on in the positive half cycle and the current flows something like this. It goes from V in plus terminal and it goes to V out terminal and from the here it connects to ground. But this is also on, so the negative terminal of the input, it, it comes here and the circuit completes this way. And in the negative half cycle, this becomes the positive terminal as we know that the plus or minus switches, right? And the current flows, uh, it comes here and we have the M2 and M3 on. So the current flows to M2, it comes to V out and then it goes to uh, M3 and completes the circuit. This is how the circuit works. We want the current to be unidirectional. That's how we, come, uh, we can make a rectifier. Let's run this and see if the things work. I'll click on run. I have given this command transient analysis from zero to uh, 100, sorry. Yeah, the 90 to 100 milliseconds because it's a one kilohertz uh, input supply. And let's see the input, okay? I'm not able to see uh, the 50 to minus 50 swing because it's giving me the voltage with respect to the ground but I should be able to get the voltage with respect to the negative terminal, which is V in minus. So what I'll do is V in plus minus V of V in minus, which is the true difference between the voltages, the true supply voltage, okay? So this is the input that I have V in plus and V in minus, uh, and I'll click on the output voltage uh, this is what I'm getting, the full bridge output voltage, okay? Uh, I'll separate these things by adding a plot plane and moving this V out to this plot plane so that it looks good. And we will see VG1 and VG2 as well. Uh, I'll click on VG1 and I'll click on VG2. They should be non-overlapping, right? They are, they are non-overlapping. Let me add new plot plane and then uh, move them over to that plot plane. 
and this one let me add another plot plane and move v of n001 to this plot plane i'll make it bigger and you can see that these are non-overlapping and uh, this is the output that we have right that's it thank you